Oh yeah, so this is a Floyd's question where they're asking you to set it up um, and, uh, and do one iteration. You're not going to get asked to do all of it in the question because it's too big, but you might get like uh, set it up and do the second iteration or do the fifth iteration, you know, that type of thing. So you're going to get a bit of it. Right now, if I put this on the full screen, I'm not sure if you'll see it if it's too small. So I have to do a little bit of zipping up and down with it. Um, right, so the first bit says set up the initial matrix. So I'll do A and B first. So A to B is 57. Uh, I'm going to see it as a from to. But if I look, all of it, there's nothing one way there. So I can set it up as like two ways. So A to B is 57. So A to B, 57, 57. What I tend to do is just tick it off. Uh, A to C, 95. So A to C, 95. 95. Put them in there because I can't do it myself. Tick it off. Uh, A to D, 150. So A to D, 150. So it's going to take me some time. I'm just going to pause it in a minute. But I'm going to pause it now and I'll just fill in the table. Actually, it is worth saying, if you look at B to F, there is no direct connection from B to F. So I put an infinity sign, same with B to D. So if there's no direct connection, I put an infinity sign. Uh, you can kind of plan to reduce as many of these as you can do and change the infinity. So I'll pause again. There you go. So I've set up the table, hopefully yours is the same. If the initial root matrix was black, you'd fill it in with the whatever letter it was. So my starting point, now that tells me that I'm setting it up as a direct connection. So B to A would be going directly through A. So that's kind of initially a blank canvas of setting things up as direct connections. So then it says the first iteration. Now this is a bit tight really, because it's only given us two marks for it. But the first mark will be for making sure that we don't change the first row and first column, and potentially we make some changes. So my first row and first column are going to stay the same. So I'll just put that in there. So I've got 57, I've got 95, 150, 63, 230, 57, 95, 150, 63, 230. Right, so um, what I'm saying. If it was the third iteration, I'd kind of make sure that the C column and the C row were the same. If it was the fifth iteration, I'd make sure that the E column and the E row were the same. So you kind of get the gist with that. Right, so let's have a look. So I'm comparing the value in the table above with adding up my shady bits. So if you look, 57 for, for this one, for B to C, 57 plus 95 is bigger. And 72. So I'm going to stick with the 72. Uh, 57 plus 150 is smaller than the infinity here. So that's going to be what? 207? So the way the book and some exam papers identify it is by putting square brackets around it. It's worth doing that because it tells you that you've changed it. Because it tells us that in, in here I'm going to change this one into an A because I'm on the first iteration. Right, so let me keep going. So I've got 57 and 63. Is that smaller than the 132? Yes, it is. That's going to be 120. Got a square bracket around it. It's identifying for me that I've changed it. 57 and 230. So that's going to be, what, 287. So that's smaller than infinity. So 287. So that's going to be an A. Uh, then looking along the C, so if I kind of just fill it in from, from what I've got, so I've got a 95, so that didn't change. Oh, not I have a 95, that was there already, it ditched that 95. Boing. There we go. Over there somewhere, out of the way. Wow, what a mess. Uh, so I've got a 72, that didn't change. I've got here a 245, so that's smaller. Than 289, so that one there is going to get an A. Then I've got a 158, which is smaller uh, than the 160, so that gets an A. Uh, and then I've got 125, so that stays the same. 
be so careful writing these down. I've got 207, oh, which is smaller. So that's going to get an A. I've got a 245, which is smaller. Because this, sim this symmetry should be able to almost cheat a little bit with it. Uh, and then I've got an 84 and I've got a 380, so that's smaller. So my 150 plus 230 is smaller than 130. So that's going to be an A there. Uh, on the E, so the 120, that's changed. So that's going to be an A, because uh, that's smaller than 132. And then I've got a 158, that's smaller. So the 63 plus 95 is 158. That's smaller than 160, so that gets an A. Uh, 84 is smaller than one. I've got it over together. Then 191. Yeah, that's fine, isn't it? Then I've got 287. So the 230 plus the, the 57 is smaller than the 30. So that gets an A. Uh, the 125 stays, because that's smaller than adding them together. I've got 230 plus 150, so I've got 380. That's smaller than 130, so that gets an A. And the 91 is smaller than 230 plus 63, so 91 stays. So I'll just fill in the rest of this. In the completed, the old completed part, so possibly we've got all of them, um, we put like the square brackets around far too much. We don't need to. The mark scheme doesn't even have the square brackets in it. It's just for you to identify and make sure you don't stuff it up and miss any. So make sure you do do it that way. So that's the setup. That's the first iteration. In theory, I could do the second iteration, the third iteration, the fourth iteration. I could keep on going all the way through to the end. And it'll get you written in tricks. While we're here, let's have a quick double check. So if I wanted to go from... Uh, let's have a look. From C to B, so going from C through to B tells me that's a direct connection. Try and find one that's different. So if I look at this one, going from B to D, so B to D says I go through A. So B to D is actually B to A to D. And then I check B to A. And that's a direct connection, and I'll check A to D, and that's a direct connection. So there's this change here, this A is telling me that my updated distance now goes through A. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope I've not waffled too much. There's a part C to this question. Um, I can't remember what it does now. I think it uses Chinese posty, so I'll tag on that at the end. Okay. Bye bye.